Hi, it's Charity, and welcome back to the 100 Infant Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to have 100 babies, infant style. So, we also do quests in this game, and our quest for today is to build a bot. We get 5x for servo, but there's no way we're doing a servo in a single day. And so, we have our matriarch Paris here. And we have the eldest adopted who is actually possessed right now. And I don't know what she's doing, but she's up here in the treehouse. And then we have Trinity who we need to get to move out. Um, we have only a few more things to finish with her. And I think that conflict resolution is okay. We, we need her to be indoorsy. I'm not sure if she can get indoorsy just by staying indoors. I'm probably going to have to buy a woodworking table or a painter's easel or something to actually get her to be indoorsy. I think flower arranging also does that, but to be honest, she's supposed to be a cook. Oh, that's right. We got her an acoustic guitar that she can practice. So the cooking is just for this aspiration. We need to, oh, become an adult and reach level four of the culinary career. Yeah, we can't do that. So I guess she can't actually work on this aspiration anymore. She also needs to get level three of the video game streamer career, which she has. And it looks like she's graduated from high school. Yes, she graduated early. So for Trinity, the only thing that we need to do is get that indoorsy lifestyle and actually purchase the Savant Reward trait, which is going to be 4,000 satisfaction points. We aren't too far though. We only need 195 more. So I would say that probably Trinity is going to move out today, which is good because our house is currently full. We're also racing against an NPC family and the NPC family is at 10 kids and for some reason the last few episodes they have not been having any children and i basically leave it up to them in the game and the next couple that became the new matriarch and patriarch of that family is just for some reason not choosing to have kids and i have mc command center on and I have neighborhood stories on. So there's two ways that they could potentially get pregnant and have kids. And for some reason, they're just not choosing that. So there's uh, two other children still in the household from the previous patriarch or matriarch. And what I'm going to allow to happen is those two teenagers are going to become young adults and I'm not going to move them out until one of those three heirs has a child. And the first one that has a child, then I'll move out the other ones. And that way we might get some progress on the NPC family. But that's actually good for us because right now we are on child number nine. So we have nine children and the ninth child's name is Nina. And once we get Trinity to move out, we can get pregnant and have the 10th child. So we will be tying with them. So that it's good that it gives us a little bit of time to catch up, but I don't want to make it too easy on myself. Okay, you can craft a chatterbot right away. Is that allowed? Because those are toys. Those aren't technically bots. They're toys. I guess we're going to allow it at least for the purposes of getting our robotic skill up. Wait, I don't have any robot salvage parts. Do I? I think I had some at some point, but I might have just given them away. And I don't have a computer. Oh, no, we do have a computer. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. In order to make this easier, I'm going to have everyone that is able to try is going to try to craft a chatterbot. Okay, Quinn is going to like robotics. Well, that's great. It's going to make it easier for you to get fun. Well, he did manage to craft a chatterbot, but I'm not going to count that. I'm going to say that he has to craft a gardening bot or something, so we'll have him work on more stuff. Oh, Trinity gains the indoorsy lifestyle. Well, good. The only thing we have to do now is chase some satisfaction points. And now she wants to be mean. We can do that. 
For some reason, she wants to be friendly with Christopher. I guess we could invite him over, maybe? If she, does she know him? Oh, he's actually right there. No, don't go, Christopher. I have to be nice to you. Which is kind of funny, because she's actually mean. So she's going to be mean to Christopher right after being nice to him. <laughs> Let's make a fruit cake, because those actually never go bad. So I won't have to worry about it expiring in the refrigerator. Okay, we're getting Savant for Trinity. And Trinity was a creative genius when she was a child. She has the argumentative trait in range. She has heat acclimation. She has great kisser. She now has Savant. She is level three of the video game streamer. She has the fear of failure, but that was added through cheats. She has the indoorsy lifestyle, and she has completed the first step of the master chef aspiration. And that is everything that she needed to do as a teenager in order to move out. I have a lot more rules for this, for this 100 baby challenge. So these people are going to be more complete adults than your standard 100 baby challenge. Do I risk trying to cook a cake? She is level 10 cooking. I am out of eggs and my chickens are not laying eggs for some reason. Okay, just a quick stop to the grocery store and we purchased a few cakes and goodies and other baked things. Happy birthday, Trinity. Oh, so Trinity is also going to be a rancher. And her adult aspiration category is going to be werewolf. So, yeah, she wants to be a werewolf, but she isn't right now. So, yeah, Trinity aged up and now she is a notable newcomer and an adult. Okay, and also in order for Trinity to move out, she has to be able to take 20,000 simoleons with her. So we have a total of 313,786 simoleons. And when we move her out, we will be gifting her 20,000 out of our total. And so our total will actually go down by 20,000. All right, next order of business is to figure out which one of these guys is single and likes women. Hey, this could be fun. Addison wants to go to prom with Selena Sparks' as friends. Sure, I guess. Why does this guy not like me? He's just not flirty. He's just not... It just doesn't like me. It's not, it's not saying that he doesn't like women. It's just he doesn't like me for whatever reason. Are we bad compatible? No, we have no compatibility. He's a good friend. Why do I keep failing all romance with him? He just doesn't like me. What is wrong with him? Oh, he's high maintenance. I don't think that should make any difference, though. He's a stay-at-home dad, which means he has kids already. But he's supposed to be single. He's a music lover and a perfectionist. Well, I'm going to give you one more chance. No, he doesn't want the rose. <laughs> okay, that's it. You're gone. Okay, Danny is single. Let's see if we can flirt with him. And we have first kiss already. He's definitely easier. <laughs> oh, and Octavian doesn't like them kissing. Hey, Danny, you want to go try for a baby? And we're eating for two. Okay, it's midnight, and we did not finish a bot. We did the chatterbots, but those are just toys. The closest we could get is Quinn, who made two computer chips and one mechanism. But you need five mechanisms to even start on a bot. It's so expensive. And then it's 1,500 simoleons on top of that. So we didn't really win this one, and we have 292,981. So unfortunately, we have to spin the losing wheel and we got 62%. Well, that's not everything at least. So that gives us 111,333. We lost over 180,000 simoleons. 
Well, that's not too bad, like I said, since we have so much money right now. We're still not worried about it, but we do have to earn 20,000 simoleons every time someone moves out. So for the next quest, we have to fish at least one rare fish in Forgotten Grotto. And in order to get into Forgotten Grotto, you have to have handiness level 10. And luckily for us, Paris does. And that was pretty quick, having five people working on a project. That's how you get the C students up quickly to Bs. And a fun way to raise gardening is to play with the cow plant. Not only does it give you gardening, but it really raises your fun quickly. And we're breaking open the entrance. Once you do this, anyone in your household can actually go in. Let's see if I can remember what you're supposed to do in order to get to the Forgotten Grotto. Okay, I think it's the narrow path. Of course, it's the wide path. Go back in there, Paris. I suppose it's the ladder because we got to go down. I'm pretty sure. If I get every one of these wrong, I'm going to laugh. I've done this quite a few times and I always forget which one I'm supposed to do. Keep climbing is bad. Step onto the ledge is the one you want. Okay, we'll travel to the grotto. All right, time to go fishing. And we got a batfish. We can leave. That was really easy. The hard part about this is having someone that has level 10 handiness. And it just so happened that Paris had already done this. Happy birthday, Nina. Now you're going to be a child. And Nina is lazy. That's just great. She's going to get the mind and body aspiration for childhood. Well, we did succeed at today's task, and we get to spin the winning wheel, and we get 1%. Well, that's just lovely. For a total of 108,144 simoleons. Okay, so the next quest, we need to successfully hook someone up. Well, the only problem with that is that I don't think you get the results right away. So we can hook someone up and then hopefully they will immediately become boyfriend and girlfriend otherwise uh yeah we need we need to know them both as well so who can we hook up maybe one of the family members una or oh ronald is from uh paris's father so yeah, they're related. We can't use them. Uh, so Una and Trinity have both moved out. We could use one of them. Another option would be to get one of the Munch family to actually hook up with someone else. But I think it's just two teenagers there. I don't think there is another young adult yet. All right, we made a club with Paris, Una, and Trinity, and I invited some other people that might be compatible with them. Uh, Jackie is probably the only one that Una would be interested in, and I'm not sure what her traits are, so I'll have to figure that out. Uh, Una uh, is into women, and Trinity likes both men and women, so... We will set one of the guys up with Twin with Trinity just because we only know one female that we're really good friends with because you need to be good friends or at least friends with the people you're trying to set up for it to work very well. So we'll start a gathering and then hopefully if we can get two of them hooked up, then that'll be great. Oh, look, Felix is the first one to zone in. Well, Felix, maybe you can date Trinity. Uh, the only thing is, Felix is one of my past conquests. Um, we have to make sure that Felix is not Trinity's father. Okay, Matthias is Trinity's father. Felix is Sesto's father. That might be kind of weird, though, to marry your half-sibling's father. Hmm. Well, it's The Sims. It doesn't matter. He's an animal enthusiast and an art lover. And Trinity is a horse lover and a rancher. Maybe it will be a good match. 
<laughs> Let's try to hook up Felix with Trinity. Trinity sounds like a catch. I'll introduce myself when I see her. And, and this is the great thing because Trinity is here. You can see the two hook up if they actually hook up with each other. No, she doesn't like him. Oh, that didn't go so well. Um, yeah, sorry, Felix. I thought you guys would be in a match. Maybe we can hook up Jackie with Una. I'm not going to bother finding out their traits. We'll just try and hook them up anyway. Okay, Jackie and Una are looking like they're going out now. Okay, we hooked them up. Yeah, they're going out. All right, we'll try again to try and find Trinity someone, but we don't have to. Okay, what about Derek? I think maybe the reason why it worked with Una and not Trinity is because Trinity doesn't like me as much. We're still friendly, but we're not actually friends. Oh, but she likes Derek. Okay, so Trinity and Derek are now going out. Uh, every single time I have somebody inside my house, they have to take all my counters. I don't get it. I mean, I have tons of other things around the house and outside that they can take. But no, it seems like the prime target for those kleptos are tables and counters. So this chair has been sitting out here forever. No one takes it. But the chess table I put out here and the picnic table I put out here for the rest of the family gets taken immediately. And whenever people come inside, they take the counters. And what bothers me about that is whenever they steal the counter, if there's a chair attached to it or an appliance, it automatically takes that appliance or the chair. So they get two for the price of one. And yes, I know the sharing is caring is pretty annoying, but I did roll for that. So that's just the way it goes. I have to put up with it. And we're going to have that neighborhood action plan for as long as Paris is the matriarch. And next time we have another matriarch or patriarch, I don't know which one it will be, then we will roll for another set of neighborhood action plans and maybe we won't have that one. So another thing we're trying to do is get Selena to be active, but it is so hard. I don't know why she's not active. Oh, and who turned this on? I don't want this on. Well, it's midnight. So we did the task for today, which was to hook up a sim successfully. And we spin the winning wheel and we get a whole whopping 9%. That gives us another 9,672 simoleons for a total of 117,134 simoleons. Now the next one is to buy a rodent and become max friends. So what rodent should we get? Should we get a rat? Should we get a hamster, a bubbleus, or a hedgehog? I think the hedgehogs are kind of cute, but I'm leaning towards a hamster. We'll just put him in with the chickens. All right, we are max relationship with Hammy. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. And the gnomes are out again. It's harvest fest, yay. Oh, Maple's time has come. We're losing one of the chickens. Hi, Grim. Are you going to be nice to my chicken? One last pet from Grim. Okay, Alec is so upset that he can only kick the gnome. He can't appease the gnome. Okay. Sure, why not? We want a little chaos. Okay, that got rid of all of their halos. <laughs> and now they're all mad at me. Kick the gnome. Oh, that guy stole my gnome. Okay, are there any more angry gnomes? I don't see any. Oh, nope, there's more over here. Every time I kick one, another one appears. Oh, that's not fair. You're inside the bush. I can't get to you. Okay, Paris has gone into labor, but there is a fire. Where's the fire? Oh, is it over here? No. Where is it? Oh, it's the science table. Whoops. I didn't realize that something in the treehouse could catch on fire. 
No, don't go down. I said extinguish it. I guess you can't reach it. Yeah, I told you to go up, and then now you can't reach it. And I don't think anything got damaged, even though something definitely should have been damaged. I mean, that was a full-blown fire. Here we go. We're having baby number 10. Are we going to get a boy or girl? We only have one spot in the house, so we cannot get multiples. I do know that. So this is only going to be baby num number 10. And we have a boy. So we're going to name him Dix. Hello, baby Dix. Um, yeah, that sounds bad, but it's not. <laughs> so does um, calling someone Richard uh, Dick also sounds bad. Why in cold weather would you sit on the edge of a pool and do your homework? Don't do that. Change your outfit. Well, that's the end of Wednesday, and we've actually completed the daily quest. So we get to spin the winning wheel, and this time we get, oh, 97%. Finally, a good spin. That'll leave us 229,765. We're almost back up to where we were before. Now the next quest is to get a randomized job and complete the daily task. And the random job we got was a criminal career. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to enroll Paris in it because she's the only one that can get that job. But she's not going to actually go to work. She's just going to do the daily task, which is what is assigned. Okay, she just has to do mischief interactions. That's fine. And we completed the daily task. And why do they keep getting in the pool? Stop it. Oh, and now she's hysterical too. Great. Calm down, Paris. Calm down, Paris. You are no longer pregnant. You cannot be hysterical. Okay, Seven has an A in school, and she's completed her playtime captain aspiration. So, happy birthday, Seven! You're going to be a teenager now. And she's going to be paranoid. And she's going to have the bodybuilder aspiration. Hi, Seven. All right. Seven needs to become a workaholic. I'm not sure if that is attainable by a teenager. I've never had it happen. And it's probably because I never have my teenagers get part-time jobs. So I have a mod installed that allows her to have every job that she signs up for. It doesn't care if the schedules are overlapping. But I don't want the schedules to overlap because she cannot take days off and she can't miss work. So the best schedule I have found is Monday through Friday in the morning. Monday through Friday in the evening, and then Saturdays and Sundays only in the morning, and Saturdays and Sundays only in the evening. So I have four part-time jobs. One of them is a side hustle. It's that uh, video game streamer. Oh, and she got to join at level two for some strange reason. And for some reason, everything is level two to begin with. I don't know why that happens. She doesn't have anything that makes that happen. That's weird. She doesn't have a reputation. She's not a celebrity. She doesn't have the connections. Oh, maybe it's the clubs that she's in. Yep, it's a network. Okay, it's the club that she's in that made her start at level two because she's in a networked club. It increases your performance gain at work while your sim is part of this club. It apparently also lets you start out at a higher level. So anyway, Seven is going to be always at work and she cannot miss work for any reason. She can't call in sick, she can't take vacation, and she can't take holidays. And she has to try to get promoted in all of these different jobs. And the other thing that's a little bit uh, disappointing with her is unfortunately the job that she did roll is odd jobs. So she also has to do odd jobs enough to get five stars in her odd job rating. And oh, we are going to have seven for a long time because this is going to be difficult. But she also gets the seldom sleepy reward trait. So that is good because she's not going to be able to sleep. She's going to have to be energized all the time. And she's working on her bodybuilder aspiration. So yeah. Ooh. And another thing is Dix is now good friends with Paris, so we can actually age him up to a 
infant. That may or may not be a good thing. Happy birthday, Dix! Okay, and Dix is going to be Wiggly. And meanwhile, we're also working on Selena. She needs to get the energetic lifestyle and she needs to be insensitive. So she needs to be mean to people. It's so hard to get the insensitive trait. Finally, we got it. Well, it's the end of the day and we get to spin the winning wheel. And we get 39%. Not bad. That gives us a total of 312,188 simoleons. And the next quest we need to do is win at ping pong. So we need to buy a ping pong table and hopefully people cannot steal it. All right, I made a club for most of the teens that need some kind of activity to satisfy their lifestyle. And in Alex's case, it's actually for his aspiration because we need to win duels against other spellcasters, but I don't want to take everyone to the dueling grounds. So this may be a bad idea, but we are going to start a club where casting spells is part of the club activities. We'll see how this goes. No, we are not going. I, I, I knew it. As soon as I did it, he was going to inferniate my computer. Um, I wish he didn't have that spell. Uh, maybe we shouldn't have casting spells as part of the club activities. Maybe it just should be we're going to duel them. Okay. All right. It's just a matter of time before the others start casting spells. Maybe Alec won't do it if I stop him because I know he has that spell. Hopefully the others don't have it. They can also choose to do homework or be nice. And of course we're going to duel for knowledge because Alec doesn't have that many spells and I want him to get most of the spells. Oh, we're going to win this one. Good. Well, there's one duel one and we got Furio. Oh, we can also play these guys in ping pong. I forgot because we need to win a ping pong game. And my rule is that you can't play ping pong against someone in the house. Because winning against someone in the house, you know, you have one that won and the other one lost. So you're always going to win. So you have to win versus someone who's not in the house. And we won another duel. And we got Delicious though for that one. Oh! So I found a ring in Trinity's bag. I think she's going to propose to me. I don't know what to do. Should I say yes? No? Gah. Yeah, say yes. Trinity's getting married. I forget his name, though. All right, I'm focused. I don't know why I lost the first point. I gained the second one, though. So maybe it's an even score right now. Oh, and I lost another one. Oh, crap. I forgot to watch Alec. Stop, Alec. He's going to put a fire. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to have to stop his. Um, yeah, we're going to have to stop the gathering because <laughs> the, Alec knows Inferniate. If no one knew Inferniate, then it would be fine. But he's just he just casts Inferniate for no particular reason other than it's oh cast spells. We're going to have to take that off the list. I can't have him doing that all the time. I'm not sure what skill allows you to do well at ping pong. Quinn is confident. I was thinking that he was going to do well, but he's not. He's losing badly. Okay, Quinn lost that one three to zero. Okay, I drank that potion of plentiful needs, and yet he still passed out because it was queued up. Okay. Why is Paris doing so badly against the teenagers? Are these people high fitness or something? I doubt it. Paris has fitness level 6. Oh, Paris lost? That doesn't make any sense. Alright, fine. Okay, let's see if my level 10 fitness max muscle teen can beat this other teenager. Probably not, because she doesn't seem to be doing so well. Doesn't make any sense. How are these other teens so good and everyone in my household is bad? I've tried energized, I've tried focused, I've tried confident. 
All right, Selena's doing slightly better. <laughs> she keeps missing, though. All right, who won there? I think, yeah, Selena won. Okay, so that makes sense. Selena has, like, max fitness and max muscle build. So I'm trying to get her to be energetic. And she was in the energized mood. So she actually won. Okay, finally Trenton and Quinn can have their first kiss. And we're going to ask him to be our boyfriend because that's our soulmate aspiration. We're getting one date out of the way and then we'll quickly move on to another one. So we'll ask Trenton on one more date and that will advance our soulmate aspiration. Okay, now for his next step, he needs to be an adult and he needs to get married to his BFF. So we can't do that. So he's stuck on that aspiration, basically. He also needs carefree. So I don't know about his drama club, though. He's not getting promoted for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's because he doesn't have good grades in school. But he has drama club level three. And... He has good performance, and he has acting skill like level 8. And for some reason, he just cannot get promoted. Uh, he, he does have an F in school, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> he might be getting kicked out of school soon. And if he does get kicked out of school, that will kick him out of drama club. So, we're going to consider that as complete anyway. All right, so that's the end of the day, and we get to spin the winning wheel, and we get whopping 1% for another 3,122 simoleons for a total of 315,272. That's not that bad. Okay, the next goal is to license a DJ mixtape. Uh, problem with that being we don't have enough room in the house for a DJ booth. I don't know where we'll put it. I guess we could put it in this back room where the computer is and get rid of some of the decorative stuff because we no longer have an indoorsy person that needs to sleep inside. Oh, and we get one more tile because I have not added the tile for dicks yet. Okay, so now we have this little office area that has the DJ booth in it, and the lamp actually fit right there on the crates, so that's good. And then the one expanded tile, I can fit the desk in there, and hopefully that is functional. It looks like it should be functional, we'll see. And then we got rid of the piano and some things in the kitchen area so that we could actually expand this to six seated areas so we have one infant and that means there are at least seven teenagers adults and kids in this household probably more because right i have two adopted children that don't count for the total so unfortunately there's not enough for everyone to sit here yet but it's getting closer there are six well, um, yeah, so I didn't record this, but uh, somehow my DJ booth caught on fire. So I can repair it. I don't think Alec did it. I think it's just because I have the cursed lot trait. And Paris caught on fire and almost died. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this one. Oh, Selena gains the energetic lifestyle. All right. I think we can have her move out now. Okay, she has finished the first level of the Outdoor Enthusiast Aspiration. She has free services, waterproof, and enough to get the Fertile Reward trait. She's the top level of the computer team member, but that's because she graduated with an A and she graduated early. She has a Fear of Fire and she has the Energetic Lifestyle. So yeah, we will be saying goodbye to Selena now. All right, I need to get everybody out of the way so that we can hopefully age up. The issue is there's only 16 minutes left on this cake. Okay, happy birthday, Selena. Hurry up and blow it out. You only have one chance. And happy birthday, Selena. 
Okay, and Selena's going to be a foodie. She's outgoing, adventurous, and her original aspiration was the outdoor enthusiast. But she needs to have the dastardly trait. So we're just going to pick one of these. We'll give her public enemy for now, and then I'll change it back to outdoor enthusiast. All right, and she's argumentative and insensitive. And she has good manners and she's responsible, but she has high self-esteem. She's a pack animal. She's a elite hacker. She has free services, top-notch toddler, collector, and dastardly. I was wondering why she doesn't have the top-notch infant. It's because we actually adopted her as a toddler. So it wasn't possible for her to have the top-notch infant trait. So she does have the top-notch toddler and she is infected. So she's going to be like that unless someone cures her by solving the Strangerville mystery. But we're not going to do that because she's moving out. She has fear of death and fear of being judged on accident. But the fear of fire is the one that she actually has to have. And because she has that one, she can't cook plates of beetles over a campfire. So yeah. All right. I purchased the fertile trait. And Selena is interested in both men and women. So we will put her in a household. And if she has a boyfriend or a girlfriend, then that will be completely up to her. And what happens with her will be handled by Neighborhood Stories and MC Command Center. Now we did fix up Trinity and Una. But the reason why we did that is because we actually had a quest to do that. I'm not going to normally do that. I'm going to let them live their own lives. Now that she is not part of the household anymore, we have to reduce the number of allowed members of the household because she wasn't counting towards our 8 sem limit. Okay, there's an upgrade. Prevents the object from starting fires when used. So apparently, yes, the DJ booze can start fires. That is just so unfortunate. Well, we'll definitely be doing that upgrade. All right, the next one we have to work on is Alec and Clover. So Clover wants to be an astronaut and these kids keep eating this cake from the cow plant that's not a good idea guys Ooh, copy pasto that's a good one again a fire i improved it did it not work come on put that out it's a good thing I have a caster that can cast Reperio because this is ridiculous. All right, if this thing continues to start fires, even though I've upgraded it and I can't do any other upgrades, then I don't know how we are going to do this. Can I just play something? I'm not sure how high level you need to be in order to do something with DJ mixing. Paris is gaining skill pretty quickly, but I don't know if it's going to be quick enough anyway. And there it starts a fire again. Ah, oh, this is just not going to work very well, is it? The upgrade for the table doesn't work. Oh, the rumors are true. Trenton Fries wants to go to prom with Quinn. Will he go? Of course. Well, here we go again. And there's another fire. And this time, she's on fire. All right, well, no one's going to get anything done right now while I'm trying to do this because it just continuously starts fires. That's fine, though. We've got to get to level four. Hopefully, there's only five levels of DJ mixing. I don't know how many levels there are. I don't ever use this skill. Okay, it still doesn't say I can make a mixtape. <laughs> what level can you make a mixtape? Hopefully it's not like level 9. It's level 8. Uh. This skill goes all the way to level 10, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, here's to a lot of fires. Like I said, I would not be able to do this if I did not have a spellcaster in the household. And hopefully he doesn't get to the point where he gets overcharged. And nobody is doing anything else today. 
How did Paris get eight dollars from tips? Um, okay, I guess the ranch hand is here. Maybe he tipped me or, oh, Trenton is also here. Oh, we need to go to prom though. Quinn needs to go to prom. We can't have him miss out on prom. Well, Quinn, maybe just go to sleep and hopefully you can gain some energy for prom. And there's a fire. And it's also a good thing that I have sprinklers because the sprinklers are putting out the people. Also, we are not committing insurance fraud. So even though I'm getting the simoleons from the things that I am replacing, actually, I should be able to do that. I should be able to get insurance fraud because Alec can earn money with spell casting since that's his aspiration. And that's perfectly legitimate. Okay, I'm going to add all that money back that I've been subtracting. Well, here we go again. She's only level four. This is probably not going to work, especially not in time for prom. Well, there we go again. Okay, it's almost 7 p.m. I think I've had about enough of this. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. We've got to go to prom. I'm sorry, I can't skip prom this time. And why are we not traveling to prom? Well, that's the end of the week, and unfortunately today we have to spin the losing wheel. And we get 52%. So 52% of 300,229 is 156,119. For a total of 144,210. Ouch, that hurts. Well, this is Charity. Thanks for watching.